Pacific is coming. Today is the day. Today is the day that we install all of the redstone systems into Pacific and actually get the ball rolling properly on this project. Serious time has gone into the research and development. Lots of work has been put into the exterior of the Pacific building. We've worked out what we're going to sell. So now it is time to actually start the process of converting this into the technical shop that we actually want it to be. We need to take this rather big redstone contraption, multiply the width of it by five, because there are around about 20 active hermits, not just four, and somehow get all of that redstone to fit in the walls and underneath the lobby of Pacific, and then make sure all of it works and make sure that I haven't made any mistakes, which let's be honest, is pretty unlikely. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that's going to happen. I think we're going to go through what's known as integration hell, where when you integrate a new system, everything that could possibly go wrong goes wrong. Yeah, I, I can imagine that's going to happen today. I kind of miss the days when Pacific was just simple and it was all about standing around on pool floaties, not all this technical redstone stuff. The first problem that I've run into is the redstone system I designed isn't actually designed to be wider than 15 blocks. Don't know how I didn't see that one coming. I've always known there's more than 15 active hermits. So the fact that I designed a redstone system that isn't built to accommodate 15 hermits is a bit stupid, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I think I've thought of a way around it in that we can have two separate banking modules, one on each side of the lobby. That will look nice as well. So I suppose that's a positive. And then we should only need to connect them up with one redstone line to make it so that when you press a button on that side, it deactivates this side completely. And when you press a button on this side, it deactivates this side completely. I'm not going to test this. I'm just going to build them and hope for the best. Because when has that ever gone wrong? When have those words ever preceded a terrible event? I mean, it all seems to be going pretty smoothly so far. This is our button selector panel for the bank accounts. There are 11 buttons because there's going to be 22 bank accounts in total because there's 24 active hermits, including myself and Iskal. And obviously we don't need bank accounts because we own all the bank accounts. The redstone for our button selector panel is now all installed, but I thought I'd add in an extra little detail where we have redstone lamp indicators that show you what bank account is currently selected. Turns out this is a tiny bit more challenging than I was expecting because the redstone blocks on the ends of the honey blocks and slime blocks, when they get extended, the honey blocks and the slime blocks then stick to the redstone blocks, which basically breaks the whole thing. That was a big word jumble, wasn't it? But going all the way back to 2011, managed to fix that problem. So here we have gravity blocks on the ends of regular pistons and when we hit the button those gravity blocks get pushed upwards and then when we deactivate the button obviously those gravity blocks drop downwards when the piston retracts okay this this works and it looks really really cool a little bit more progress has now been made we now have all of the bank accounts in place so you can see they actually open up and there are chests down at the bottom there. This guy's probably going to ask me to swap those out for shulker boxes because I know he gets funny about that sort of thing. But this little system is gradually coming together. I gotta say, it is a lot more relaxing constructing a redstone contraption that you've already designed. But there's no stress here. I'm not stressing out. I'm not trying to think if it's actually going to function. I'm not worrying if all of my ideas are actually going to work. I know it's all going to work. I just have to get it all in place. But with that being said, I think the good times are about to come to a close because I don't know if you noticed, we've run out of space. And the space that we're expanding into is an ocean. And expanding a redstone contraption into an ocean is never a particularly wise idea. Regardless of that fact, this system is starting to look really cool, isn't it? I mean, there's nothing cooler than a complicated looking redstone system. And with all the banking circuitry done and a decent chunk of our overdraft system all in place as well, things are coming together very, very smoothly indeed. And it was at that moment that things became incredibly unsmooth. I've built all of the overdraft system one block too low. And that is quite upsetting. And I've, I, you know, I've looked around for about 10 minutes to work out if there's anything I can do about this. And there's not, you know, there, there's not. It has to be, everything needs to be moved up by one block. It's mildly painful, okay? It is, it is mildly painful, but I guess I just... Oh, there's no point in stressing about it. I love doing redstone. I really do. I, I, I do. With that very unsure statement being said, I am quite happy to see this thing now done. This, this one module is now all completed. Everything should, should be in place correctly. And, cool, it does look mean, doesn't it? And Iskal did a very good job at building his aquarium at the exact right size. He's, he's accidentally done perfectly there. So this is all of the overdraft circuitry. This stuff up here is all of the bank circuitry. So the actual kind of transactional circuitry overdraft down here. And then this is the overdraft detector, which tells the player 
if the bank account selected is actually overdrawn. Now one thing that I am going to add in is a little access area so that the player can drop down into this spot and look inside the chest to see how overdrawn they are so then they can correctly pay it off because otherwise you could run into issues. But that I believe is everything for the first half of this system. So now we have some pretty serious redstone resource gathering to do because although this looks like a decent supply of redstone resources it is not even close to how much we actually need. We are very gradually getting there though. I've got all the pistons and now I'm working on getting all the chests and hoppers in place. And now I think, I hope, I have everything. So I guess let's start building the second half. I was going to give my brain a little bit of time to rest between building these two things because there is a lot of concentration involved. But you know what? I just fancy getting it done. But afterwards, we may have to meet back up with this gal and just stand around on the pool floaties for a bit. Because even though I'm not really having to think through how the redstone system comes together and solve all of the logic problems that normally come with designing a redstone contraption, it's still incredibly mentally taxing copying one redstone contraption and then building it again and then with this one I'm then having to mirror it which is weirdly for some reason I'm not very good at rotating and flipping things in my brain you know there's different types of intelligence and I don't have a lot of intelligence but I certainly don't have intelligence in that area like the rotation and flipping part of my brain is just non-existent so the number of times I build a hopper line going in the wrong direction I put a chest on the wrong side pointing the wrong way is an absolute nightmare. However, one thing that I think has really helped me out with the construction of these things is instead of building it layer by layer, which is something that I often do when I'm copying a redstone contraption from somewhere else, instead of doing that, I'm building it circuit by circuit. Now, this is important because when you build something circuit by circuit, generally the redstone contraption makes sense. So when you build a circuit, you actually know what each element of that circuit is doing, so you can actually make sense of the redstone that you're working on. Whereas when you build it layer by layer, nothing really makes sense until you actually finish the redstone system. And that can lead to some serious mistakes because you don't notice bugs arriving as they happen. Because you're, you're building it layer by layer and you might just miss a component, you won't think anything of it because nothing's making sense in the minute. And then once it's done, you have a ton of mistakes. Whereas with this way of doing things, Hopefully I shouldn't have any mistakes. At least fingers crossed. So crossed in fact that they're broken. Somebody call an ambulance. This is rather gorgeous though, isn't it? This is rather gorgeous. I mean, there is nothing better than big redstone contraptions and blueprints. I am trying my best to get the buff scout blueprint because that would be the only thing that makes this better. But unfortunately, I, I just can't seem to manage to do it. I can't remember how big the painting was. Okay, well, if you just imagine that that is buff scale, nothing is better than big redstone contraptions, buff scale, and blueprints. There, I think that just about covers us. So now that all the complicated stuff is done for the time being, we can chill out a little bit and we can concentrate on making things a tiny bit prettier because right now it looks a little bit rough and ready. It's not terrible, to be fair. It doesn't actually look that awful. And I think exposed redstone is going to be a theme for Pacific just because... Well, exposed redstone always looks pretty fancy, but I, I do think we need to do something a little bit better with this area. Now, I wonder, is this going to look good? I'm thinking what I could do is mirror what we have going on with the buttons on the redstone lamps as well. So you kind of have two little bars here that are surrounded by our warped stairs. What are we thinking? It feels like maybe it needs... I think it needs a little bit more depth. Maybe we need to wrap something around this, but it's not a horrible start. Wiping out the central blocks here has definitely done well. Obviously, I'm not going to be keeping the pink in, but I definitely think that adds something. I do feel like I'm getting somewhere. I'm just trying to think of what I can actually put in that space. I mean, maybe cyan concrete. Oh, that definitely fits in with the vibe of Pacific. If you imagine that this cyan terracotta is going to wrap around the top and go around there, I mean, that does look quite cool. I've come up with an extra bit of detail that I think could help the situation. End rods. End rods do look good. They do look good, but this now looks a little bit flat. Like that. That cyan terracotta there. I actually... I don't know if I like that on the top. What if we were to throw a little bit of white concrete into the mix and maybe even put it on the same level as the cyan terracotta, but just punch it out a little bit? This could do something. As you can see, I'm reaching the edge of my building expertise here. I'm starting to struggle now. Maybe, 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 maybe. Losing faith, big time. Losing it, it's, it's going, it, it could be gone. I mean, maybe it all needs to be white concrete. 
maybe this this can be white concrete as well. We can just make it all white concrete. Oh, I'm actually starting to like that. I'm actually starting to like that a little bit more. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How do we feel about this one? Oh, I think that's a lot better. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, I would say so. And then we can even wrap the cyan terracotta around the edge back here. But this bit can kind of protrude out. I mean, if we look at the two, if we compare this to this, look how much better that looks already. That is a huge improvement and it looks a lot fancier. And fanciness is incredibly important in this incredibly fancy redstone shop. We are getting there. We are getting there. This is my cyan terracotta wrap. And yes, 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 yes. Okay, what can I do? Maybe I can even start running this into extra pieces. So maybe we can start building up a solid wall here. I have absolutely no idea if Iskal had plans to do extra bits and bobs around in this area, but I'm just going to take his job very briefly. I think we definitely are getting somewhere, but I definitely think we need something to fill in this space up at the top here. And honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I thought it could be a good idea to have the words bank up at the top here. But I think they're going to get hidden away a little bit. Maybe we could have... I mean, maybe we could have Pacific across this back wall. And then this could actually be the coin area. This is where you get your Pacific coins. That could be a smart solution. I've got a little bit experimental here. And I'm very, very curious to see if this actually works. Because when I get experimental, it generally just looks like absolute poo. And... I can't tell. Uh, man, I still can't tell. I, I don't love it, but then I also don't hate it. Imagining that there's a ceiling on this area, I actually don't think that's too bad. You know what? We might have to go do some redstone stuff, some complicated redstone contraptions to calm my brain down a little bit because I am struggling. My brain... My brain is working so hard right now. I don't know what I don't know what looks good anymore. I do think these little things look good. I'm a big fan of these little things that Iskal has constructed. So I thought I would chuck another one in this corner, and I think that helps things. I think that helps the situation of things looking quite blocky and bland in in these in these areas. And also, I'm going to be honest, considering taking down these palm trees as much as I absolutely love them. Now that we have this in place, it has made the entire area feel a tiny bit more cluttered. I am feeling much, much happier now. Look how much better this area looks than this area. And that's not Iskal's fault, by the way. It's my fault because I've built up this massive, great system in here that really does intrude on his lobby, which makes the whole space feel a tiny bit more cluttered than it did before. So let's get everything constructed on the other side. And about an hour later, here we are. This is the Pacific lobby area now completed with the banks on either side. Now, I'm not going to lie, it still feels like there's something missing a little bit. It doesn't have the same warmth that it did originally with the palm trees, and I'm not 100% certain how to rectify this situation, so I guess I'm going to have to speak to Iskal about this one, but I definitely say it's a massive improvement over what we had originally when these redstone systems were first installed. I think Iskal is going to be really, really impressed with what I've managed to pull off. All I need to do is find him. I mean, I, I haven't seen him on the server for the past couple days, but I, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. He right, doesn't seem to be in his redstone shop. He's not in the place where Bernie used to be, which is now just a horrendous hole in the middle of the shopping district. He's not over at his Treasure Island little thing. He doesn't seem to be over at his Omega Tree either, or over at the Hermit Challenges Zone. Oh dear, there is one place that I haven't looked for a few days. <laughs> How long have you been here? It's been, it's been like, been like 10, 10, 10 days. <laughs> 10 days? Ten days on the rubber ducky. My goodness! What? I mean, I suppose you've you've had supplies of of water. Oh God! Is bad. Okay. I I was just wondering. I, I knew you had water supplies. I just wanted to make sure that you hadn't eaten basil. But basil's still here. Basil is still here. I I was. I I'm not that cruel. <laughs> I was I was dieting anyway. But I tell you what. I tell you what gets to you after ten days on yeah. rubber ducky. The noises. <laughs> They haunt me. I can't sleep anymore. I'm so tired. Are they not? Are they not funny anymore? Are they just this is like turned they into are, torture now. Yeah, and and also I found out I have been I have been a lot in the water slide in the first two days. Right. Okay. But now it just it just doesn't feel the same anymore. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look it's particularly just, exciting. It's not that fun. <laughs> it's not that fun. No, I can see. I it mean, it's quite. It is quite boring. May I suggest ice next time? 
<laughs> I don't think that makes things any faster. I think Scar has tested it, and he used a boat, and that I that, ha I that have made also things used faster. The bolts. But okay. I had to use my last piece of wood for a campfire, and I didn't want to take down the palm tree because I didn't know if it was rubber duck palm tree. Okay, so on the palm tree fun, uh, I do have some bad news for you. We'll get onto that in a little bit, okay? Um, <laughs> what? Th there's a few things that I need to show you. I've been pretty hard at work. I've come up with a system. I've come up with a system that is like a banking system with overdraft and and like automatic payments and things. I've also come up with a currency system, and there's two different types of currency systems that I want you to check out. And then I've installed all the banking systems inside your lobby and also mildly destroyed the lobby a little bit but what <laughs> but <laughs> but we can look at that in a second i think I, I need to take you to the little research and development center and i can show you how this pacific coin stuff works right this one mm -hmm. is a fixed price coin system so you put a diamond in and you get say five pacificos out whereas pacificos or pacific coins what are we calling them I don't know. I we haven't discussed this. Oh. <laughs> you have just completely gone out and become super productive. I've never seen a mumbo jumbo being this productive. Sorry, I, I thought I told you about Pacific coins. Okay, no, well, well, I okay. love Pacificos though. That's okay. a great coin name. So that one gives five Pacificos every single time you put a diamond in, right? This okay. one gives anywhere between five and I believe nine. And it oh, so would... it's mystery, mystery box Pacificos. Well, no, so I thought, well, we could do it that way, okay? Or I thought what we could do is you could almost have it as like it's an actual currency and it goes up and down and you can see the values and you can invest in Pacificos depending on like the value of it. And if you really need something from Pacific, you might just have to buy them when they're high. You know, we could, we could do something like that. So we'd have redstone lamps across the top of it that would show the daily value and it would go up and down day by day. And that's what all of this system does. So every single time I, like it. I hit this button, it can either stay the same, which is what it did, or it can, that time it changed the value. I like this. So you like the variable prices? Yes, I like the variable prices. We should go with variable prices. It gives us more control. Yes. <laughs> you can just oh, crash wow. the market all of a sudden. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So with this gal now in a good mood from on my redstone work, it's time to break the news about the palm trees. We're getting Where are my palm trees? Well, this hasn't gone well. Look, I tried to warn you at the start because they I know- They took so long to make! <laughs> Look, here's the thing. When they you took like two hours! I'm not a tree builder! <laughs> when you said, when you said, I'm not going to destroy the palm trees, I wouldn't want to do that. I was like, oh Where dear. are my palm trees? <laughs> I can't believe this! It's not like you've placed anything instead of the palm trees, you've just taken them down! What are you talking about? Look around you, dude! Look around you! The whole bottom area, apart from where your elevator is, has been filled in. It looks exactly the same where the palm trees were! <laughs> the palm trees was right here! Yeah, but I didn't- the thing is, I didn't want to put anything there because it, it felt a tiny bit cluttered once I had built my massive banking system, which took me five hours so each. Did you so take, forget your palm did trees! Did you take you down the palm, palm trees? <laughs> yes! Did you take down the palm trees, not because you needed the space, but because it felt cluttered, according to you. Yeah, because, look, I've installed these massive banking systems, and My I get it. My palm trees are look, gone. I get it, your palm trees took I two hours. I will never, ever again <laughs> get stranded on a roof and miss ten days. <laughs> look, yeah, and lots happens, all right? And I don't mean to, I didn't mean to pull out my sword, but I'm leaving it here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it was totally accidental. I scrolled through my hotbar and I landed on it. Okay, but I think that's a sign that the yeah. Well, I, I guess it has more durability than your axe. But what do you what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's really annoying is is that look at the durability look at the durability of my sword, right? And look right? at the durability of my axe. That the durability of my axe is yeah, about how much go. would be required to take out one palm tree. That's the palm tree. trees. That's the palm trees. <laughs> 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 that is so annoying. <laughs> well, look, okay, look, the palm trees are gone, okay. okay, and look, I know that they took you two hours, okay, but you have to understand that these two banking systems, plus doing the decoration, which I know you say looks exactly the same, but it's taken me about 14 hours, okay? It's been... Okay. It's been... Well, it's, it, and it plus looks the great. research and development and everything like that, you know, it's been, it's been a long few days, are, okay? Wait, are these the leaves from the palm trees? Look, they might be. Yeah, they probably are. And uh, so I've kept them. Are these the logs from the palm trees? <laughs> they could be. They might be. They, they, they might just be. So that's good, right? 
I've kept them. They've just moved them and compressed them a little bit. You're 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 Swedish. You like compressed things, like furniture. Okay. You like your furniture <laughs> things to be. All right. What is this bag? This bagging system better be great. This okay. bagging system better be great. It's kind of difficult to explain. So each of the hermits, the each of the hermits, unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. So currently they're not linked up to one another. Okay. So okay. there's still a little bit of work to do, but I thought it would be good to get your opinion on it and break the news of the palm tree softly. All right. So, so I've got these. <laughs> yeah, banking maybe systems. when you link them up together, you're going to take down the, the vaults. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what will be here next time I enter? <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. So we each hermit it's got a bank account you hit a button you get access to your bank account uh, you Ooh. you deposit your pacificos into your bank account and when you buy things from pacific your balance is automatically reduced by the cost of the item now if they buy something that costs more than the coins that they have then they'll go into overdraft and when they go into overdraft they won't be able to buy any more items in pacific until they pay off their overdraft oh that's so brilliant that is so brilliant so you're this actually... is why I should leave you to it. <laughs> I'm glad that you're happy. I mean, I was, you know, that I'm is absolutely awesome. So basically, you have your own account in Pacific. Yep. We are now a bank. Yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Okay, okay. Do good. we still have the diaper list uh, thing in the in the? Oh no, <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's also gone. Do you want to know the good news though? I took a screenshot of it before I took it down, so I'll send ah, it, I'll send it over to you. Yes, and it can brilliant. be there in spirit. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that Iskal is incredibly, incredibly happy about the banking system. The palm tree is not so much, but we can we can tackle that problem on another day. For now, it was all about the banking system, and the banking system definitely, definitely has his approval. He's chuffed to bits with that. I'm chuffed to bits with that. I hope you enjoyed this Hermitcraft episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Reading through the comments on this Hermitcraft episode is going to be an interesting one. This is going to be interesting. It's go it's definitely going to be a divide between people who know that Iskal is kind of goofing around because we're friends and the people who really don't and are incredibly passionate about the fact that I have removed the palm trees. I am curious to see how this all winds up. <laughs>